You watch 12 straight out of the news, that's a fucking problem. Well, what's my favorite is the in-between story banter. That is the most <laughs> uncomfortable, hurried, kind of weird, fake talk that exists in all of television. It doesn't exist anywhere else on earth right now in mainstream entertainment. <laughs> and the, the banter between the anchor and like the weather lady as they're throwing back and forth to each other. Then this guy. Oh, dude. Here. It is the fakest. Well, that seems like uh, I don't know what to say I, about that. I still do morning news just to ruin the segments. <laughs> That's the only reason I go on. I, I do it all the time. You did a good one in Columbus. <laughs> did you see that one? Yeah, it's that, from front side. That, was, that was what you one, do. <laughs> I, I can send it to you. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I, I'll I, find it. Okay. Yeah, it's, I, I think I have it here. It's, it's, uh, it's probably on my Instagram or something. It's a. Uh, I just kept making up that they had a human trafficking problem in Columbus, and the guy lost it on me. Because I'll only do those news segments if they're live, because there's no point in doing a tape one. They'll just edit out whatever horrible thing I do. But, you know, sometimes you get someone really cool, and you'll just riff with them and be silly. But this dude, I could tell. I'll, like, I'll throw, like, a jab to see if it bothers them. And if I can sense it bothers them, I'll go, like, 100 miles an hour and just derail the segment. I got... <laughs> I got I remember I have, a pub I have a publicist, Pam, who hates me. She, I just am like, I don't care about morning radio. Just book me on morning shows. Cause and she's like, they're on to you. They know you're going to ruin the segment. <gasps> but Pam, uh, she gets so mad at me. But, but I, Do you ever go on one and the people are cool and you don't ruin the segment? Yeah, totally. But they usually end up, sometimes they think it's funny. But other times, yeah, I did one. We were on a tour bus last year, and I pretended my opener, Gary Veter, overdosed on cocaine on the bus. And oh, they were so mad God. at me. And uh, and she called me like you're banned from Good Morning Durham, and I was like, <laughs> I'll live. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, we've done a lot where I just I, I I poke and I see what I can get away with. How many people are watching those shows? Not a lot, but when I share them, they do pretty well because they're it's they're the weird to watch me do something bad. Yeah, I can text it to you. I think I have it on my phone somewhere. I'm trying to find you. I'm oh, like, yeah. no video, people though. under 60 are watching that, right? Am I correct? Probably not. I mean, sometimes when I'm in a hotel, I have it on in the background just for like background noise when I'm bored on the road. Right. But like, yeah, I don't. Something the new. It's it's almost like I want to watch the news, but I don't want to think. Yeah. Which you know, it's like I'm not. I'm not going to watch like BBC. I'm going to watch Pittsburgh Today Live. Local man eaten by alligator. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first one pittsburgh actually i i pretended i was molested on air and uh because she just kept asking the dumbest questions and she goes when did you catch the funny bug and i said oh, oh, well my uncle boy. molested me and Whoa. uh and he was funny and i caught it like spider-man <laughs> and they just stared at me like oh yeah, is it uh, yeah that's it no it's that's springfield that's i know i'm all that's a guy <laughs> joke on instagram less than 24 hours ago talk about what people can expect i mean have you been to columbus before or is this the first time for you no i've been i've been i love columbus uh great city big fan of uh despite all the human trafficking uh going on there i still find uh, a lot of fun a great city nonetheless you've got your class <laughs> i can tell he doesn't want it so this is where i poke this Friday, yeah. October 27th. Tell us what we, what we, can, we can expect with that. I'm going to talk like about the that. human trafficking <laughs> epidemic in Columbus, Ohio. What is going on with the human trafficking? <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, are you uh, a big sports fan? What's going on with that? I'll tell you what I'm not a fan of is human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah. where you're going with there that. There are a lot of news reports, yes. All right, well, listen, Sam, enjoy This is the best part because he snaps here. And, um, we'll yeah. look forward to seeing you. Thanks, Thank Sam. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. All right. Have a good one. I don't get, I don't know. I think he would, you know, I know he's kind of edgy and funny. I didn't get the human trafficking thing because it really wasn't funny the first time. And then he kept doing it two and three and four times. Yeah. And I tried to ask him. You saw me try to ask him. Yeah. Is this a joke? Are you trying to be funny? What are you trying to do? <laughs> and it just didn't. Well, I was just trying to explain. The audience saw, just saw the same thing, too. Okay. We'll go to break. Good morning. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, he really lost it. That's the only way they're worth doing to me, though, is if it's, like, insanely uncomfortable. <laughs> it makes you think, like, even just the, the way you do one of those shows. Like, those people aren't real friends, you know? Like, you, you're trying to make Some of them fake. are good. Some well, of them are good together. Well, good Morning Some America, those two that were fucking, they were real yeah, friends. Yeah, they were great. And they were great at their job. That's why they, they were They shouldn't together. have been fired. Why were they fired? For fucking.
They, well, here's what happened. She just fucked him. He was fucking everybody there. So I think they were oh. like, well, if we fire him. Oh. I mean, yeah, we got it. Well. But they were good. I did their show once and I didn't, I was just, it was just a regular interview because they were fun. Well, they should do a podcast together. Are they, they I think they a podcast? are. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want a boss, especially no. in those kind of environments. It's just too restrictive. And it makes me think if you like look at that guy, like no offense to that guy that you were just talking to, but it, I couldn't imagine some sort of an audition process that yielded such results. Yeah. Like this is the best you guys have to fucking- It's a big city, Columbus. Tell the news. Big city I, with a lot of human trafficking. It's, uh, yeah. She it's just, almost backed you up on that. <laughs> yeah. That. She did. She's like, yeah. there's a lot of reports. And yeah. There's a lot of reports. <laughs> I just think it's a funny rumor to make up to be like, you have a human trafficking problem. And, and I had no research to back that up, but it's, it clearly, if you're, uh, you have Columbus pride, there it bothers are, there you. There are stories. There are stories. <laughs> there's also, you're doing it on Zoom, which is extra frustrating because, yeah. like, you're not even in the room, so they can't even go, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you know? <laughs> You're so disconnected. They have to be very obvious when they're talking to you. But I've done it where I was bad and it wasn't live and they just edited it out. I'm like, God damn it, you know? Uh, Got to get the live ones. But it's hard to ask for live because they know you're going to do something. <laughs> so you see my predicament. I'm like, I want live. And they're like, what's he going to do? Well, I think the gig is up. We'll see. I got yeah. I got one in, I got one coming up. We'll see if they unbook me. They're not going to. Maybe they'll be prepared and they just let you fuck with them. They have they done smart. that before and they were, you know, I did one pre recorded for New York One uh, when I was promoting MSG Theater. I, I did that one and they uh, they were mad I didn't do it. But oh, it was like, really? oh, it was pre recorded and they were like, yeah, he just, they told my friend, they were like, yeah, he just behaved. It was really a bummer. <laughs> and I was like, well, get, now I got to be bad. Because you knew it was pre recorded. So yeah. you're like, ah. Yeah, what's the point? I was why? just kind of out of energy. Yeah. I was like, ah, oh, what's the point? Deflated. Yeah. They're playing dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-recorded with you is playing dirty. It is. Yeah, I'm playing dirty that? too, though. But you, you are. But that's the game we play. That's the yeah. game we play. It's you just want to fun. Do a morning show. When yeah. Segura used to do DJ Dad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> TJ Miller was another one who would do crazy <laughs> shit on there, and I was like, I love that. Segura was the king of it. Yeah. He came out as non-binary on a morning show. <laughs> 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 Just fucking total deadpan with a gold chain on and sunglasses. His energy's perfect for oh, it too. Oh, it's he's so got 